After spending our first yacht overnight in the marina, we set sail from Nassau on a four-hour open water voyage to the breathtaking Exumas. With four more days of adventure ahead, we dedicated day one to visiting the world-famous Iguana Island and snorkeling through Pablo Escobar's underwater plane wreckage, where our captain hinted that we still might see a few remains of the drug-running flight crew. So we said we were gonna leave at eight o'clock sharp and Phil went to go get ice. It's eight o'clock, it's actually 8.01, so we left already and he's not back. So I guess we'll just see him in four days. I'm just kidding, we're coming to pick him up. He's right there. <laughs> Got the ice, buddy. Got the ice. Here, hold that bike. <laughs> Just paying. And then we can hit the road. Wait, no. Okay. We can hit the ocean. Hit the water. Hit the water. <laughs>
favorite way to call it Iguana Island. <laughs> Hundreds of iguanas. And uh, we just happened to have bought grapes and they eat grapes. They love grapes. One almost got in the water to try and catch a grape. But otherwise, they don't seem to like the water at all. Colt is having the time of his life. The kids all love it. Probably Colt especially. And now I can't find him. Ah, there he is. week just right here with all of the different beaches and amazing things to hang out and see. The iguanas are cool. The water is beautiful. It's actually really warm so you could just like hang out in here. I could snorkel this little lagoon for a week. No doubt. We're going to the sunken plain next. Woo! I think that's like a drug plane from Pablo Escobar. I think he owned that island. It's Norman's Key I believe and I think that's also where Fire Festival was. We're gonna see a concert! The Kardashians are gonna be there and Justin Bieber's wife, but before she was his wife. to jump in we've got most of us have our gear on you should know i am the only one who doesn't have any snorkel gear i don't can even baby can i borrow your snorkel gear please thank you i don't even get to eat with the rest of the family i just have whatever's left over i'm sure i mean mother's day is coming up right sure maybe a nice coffee mug <laughs> put a word in for number one best mom all right we're at Norman Key. We're about to jump in and see a sunken plane and a dead pilot in the cockpit. Pablo Escobar. Oh. Firefighter. Yeah. Yes, you can. So you were just holding the rope in and then it went through, right? Fast. Ooh, that's you know what that's called? Rope burn. Rope burn, yeah. Yeah. And all it does is create heat, which basically makes it the same thing as any other kind of burn, right? So you burn, yeah, absolutely. Grab a, grab a right. chunk of ice, just hold it in your hand on there. Grip it. Yeah. Everywhere you would have gripped the, um, the rope. Let me okay? see. Is it getting blistery more? Yeah, pull yeah. it out here. Just take it. Oh, I gotta get water. Okay. Ready to see a sunken plane?
been that close to a plane wreck since uh, my first solo when I was 15. You can see my injury here, down here. Yeah, way bigger. <laughs> yeah. So, actually I get a, a cut off a little bit better than the pilot who's down there. I think I think we probably saw him, yeah? I saw a bunch of coral that looked like the shape of a femur and maybe an arm bone. So I think that mystery solved. There's no captain down there. I think he's long gone. Plus, I'm injured too. Me too, guys. Hold on, let me get the macro lens for this. One second. You're not even bleeding. It's an old injury. <laughs> okay. We don't care unless there's blood. But Colt actually is injured though. Also, now we have to figure out where we're going next. Next, we're going to Shroud's Key. So we're going to do the washing machine first thing in the morning. Shroud's Key yeah. to anchor and then... Overnight. Overnight. And probably grow some burgers, maybe. Grilling burgers on the boat tonight. We're having dinner. Ricardo, coconut rum. Definitely the drink of our vacation. Hey babe, uh, Alex has a question for you. Check this out. I was wondering, right? You guys got all these fancy cameras and photographic camera. Uh, you know, why the hell with a drone? Why didn't you bring a drone? You bought a drone? <laughs> We are out here enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day and Phil's getting some drone footage and I think he just landed the drone in the ocean. Oops! I have a vague memory of uh, ordering the special insurance option when I bought the drone where if you crash it, they pay for it. <laughs> so I can't wait to get the new one. So it's gone. Settled in, we're at Shouts Key. Uh, we're gonna cook up some burgers and brats. We're gonna have dinner. We're gonna stay the night here. And then first thing in the morning, we are doing washing machine. I don't know what that is, but stay tuned and. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just hit my son in the head and he's injured. I need dice. Stay tuned, because we have three more days on this boat. We love taking you with us on our adventures. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button so you don't have to miss a single episode. Here, fishy, fishy. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna catch a big one. We should put it on the hook. And get cold. No? Throw it before you drop it like I did eight times. Okay, now why do we do that? Because it is organic, it is natural and biodegradable because of the nature and the organicness of it. And it's very cool. This is the first time we've seen this in person, but actually in front of us, we're heading toward a super yacht. I'm not sure which one it is, but if we got close enough, we might recognize it. It's that big. In fact, it's so big that it's utilizing this new trend in yacht stuff, super yacht stuff, which is having a yacht support vessel. And that means I think a lot of yacht owners, super yacht owners, are like getting sick of uh, having a yacht where they have to have helicopter landing pads on there and they have to have storage for all of their, their tenders, so their smaller boats, their speed boats, their, uh, their jet skis, all of the other toys that you have available. And so they create a second yacht that's called the Yacht Support Vessel. It's ugly as hell, but that's where they keep all of those things. So people, guests, and the owners can just helicopter right in, they chop her in, they land on the yacht support vessel, and then they can just be transported right over to the main yacht. And that means that you can have a smaller yacht, which is always preferable, and that one is for nothing other than like the living, the fanciness, and everything else related to leisure and utility is gonna be on the yacht support vehicle. So that's what we see right in front of us. The two always travel in tandem, and they are right there together. It's really cool. We're the Lockwoods, a family of five with five careers, three schools, and infinite passion for adventure. So we redesigned our business and studies around a lifestyle of freedom and world travel. Join us on our journey.